Right, the first time science and technology combined to put a rocket into space and send back pictures of our planet, it was unbelievable. We've never seen ourselves quite that way, and we've always assumed it takes a space program to get a picture like that, but it doesn't. There's a guy, just a guy in Great Britain, who has managed pretty simply to do the same thing, and it's our favorite story of the day. His story tonight from NBC's Mike Taibbi. 38-year-old Robert Harrison is a self-confessed computer geek who says it was boredom that got him thinking a while back about space exploration, photo exploration that is. We have a camera, simple point-and-click camera yeah. from Canon, 50 quid on eBay. Yeah. That's about 100 have, um, bucks and about 600 more for a GPS tracking device duct taped to hold it all together, plus a standard weather balloon and the helium to fill it. Then up, up, up and away above the English countryside while the camera clicked away automatically as Harrison tracked its progress from the attic of his Yorkshire home. You've got the bottom part of the UK and then France is underneath the, underneath the cloud there. At 22 miles high, the stratosphere at the edge of space, the balloon burst as expected. With that cheap camera capturing images like these, a parachute carried it safely back to Earth where Harrison used the GPS signal to find it. Harrison may have been the first hobbyist to try weather balloon photography from near space, but now there are several dozen enthusiasts going for the same cheap thrill. Cheap as an inexpensive, but useful. And lift off of space shuttle and lands. Pictures like these have often been taken aboard the space shuttle, each mission costing NASA about $400 million. So getting images like these for a few hundred dollars is an eye-opener. If the government needed to do it, they can get tips from backyard entrepreneurs on how to do it more cheaply. A team at MIT has gotten its own balloon camera aloft and for only 150 bucks, and they posted a how-to primer for the next explorer, a bargain basement way to see the truths revealed to real space travelers. As I now know the Earth is round and that space is indeed black. With your own photographs as proof. Mike Taibbi, NBC News, New York.